a very good morning my dear brothers and sisters we have been learning about the divinity of the lord jesus christ for a few days first as part of that we learned that jesus claimed to be god many have asked where jesus claimed to be god many have that doubt even though those who are christians they have this doubt so we learn that jesus claimed to be god if you have not seen any of them you can watch uh, watch them on this youtube channel so you can go and check this youtube channel and you may find and second we learn that jesus christ is called as a god in the old testament and in the new testament similarly we learn that he is called as god in the new testament as well so his words is very good and tells us jesus is god my dear brethren if you have this bible this bible tells us that jesus christ is our god and savior uh, but many so called persons are unable to understand the scriptures uh, to be honest that is their misfortune my dear brethren why because even though our bible uh, clearly tells us that jesus is god then they are not uh, believing it the bible is very clearly that knowing jesus christ is eternal life many are blind to the word many are blind to the word my dear brethren i pray lord that their eyes will be open and they will know the truth from the bible and if you look at it in the same way many people are throwing mud on jesus christ in this days my dear brethren i saw some people uh, they speak very proud words slandering the lord as their mouth pleads uh, slandering the lord as their mouth pleads and speaking insultingly about the lord jesus christ a proud mouth is given as mention in the book of daniel even worse days will come and worse people will come because it is written in the bible that first there must be a disaster so first uh, after the disaster church will rapture my dear brothers and sisters and uh, please remember one thing in this days please remember one thing we don't see good days or good situations anymore because day by day the worst things will happen we see bad only but not good please keep this in your mind and uh, this world day by day becomes a worst so my dear brethren please love this book and read this book make friends with this book and listen what this book says this is a very very important in in this days my dear brethren all right what we are going to learn today is that jesus has the same titles that god the father has so now today we are going to learn first thing jesus had same titles as god the father so this is the third part of our study jesus had same titles as god the father so now we are going to see that references from the bible we have already learned a lot about the deity of jesus christ and we have also seen many bible verses so now i will just point out 
some important verse in the Bible and talk to you. There is much more in the Bible than what I am uh, talking about. I don't know if you understand the language I speak, but I have a desire to explain the word of God to many. Please pray for me and my English language, my dear brethren. Now turn your Bible with me, the book of Hosea. Okay, the book of Hosea, chapter 13, verse 4. Chapter 13, verse 4. Yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt, and thou shalt know no God but me, for there is no Savior beside me. So here is the first title of our Lord Jesus Christ is Savior. <coughs> Observe that this is the Jehovah speaking, Lord. Okay? And God definitely says that there is no savior but me. So this repeated in Isaiah chapter 45 verse 15. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 15 and verse uh, 21. If you read this verses also, same thing repeated there. Here savior is God the father. Okay. The Savior is God the Father. And previous uh, classes or previous study, we learn about Savior. So please uh, uh, go and check previous videos. Here God the Father telling that there is no Savior beside me. Okay? Is, uh, uh, this is clear to our conscience. Please turn your Bible with me, Matthew chapter, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Gospel of Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So, my dear brethren, if there is no Savior beside of Jehovah, beside Jehovah, our Lord, Jesus Christ had to be Jehovah, or He could not save anybody. So, did you understand what I am saying? If there is no Savior beside Jehovah, Jesus Christ had to be Jehovah, or He could not save anybody. And showing that any dissociation of Jesus with Jehovah is satanic nonsense, my dear brethren. And the Lord Jesus Christ is that Savior. So our Christ called as Savior. We know very well about the scriptures. And please read Acts chapter, Acts chapter 5 verse 31. And uh, Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. If you read these verses, uh, you, you may understand what the scripture says. Please turn your Bible with me, the book of Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Because scriptures is very, very important. Without scriptures... We can't believe anything because we are the Bible believers. Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And please turn your Bible with me. 
Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Jesus has same titles as God the Father. This is the one. And second, and second, please turn your Bible with me. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. So here our God, our God the Father call as rock. God the Father. God is the only rock. If you read Psalm number 62, I think 62 verse 6 and 7. Please read these verses, my dear brethren. Psalm number 62. Psalm number 62, verse 6 and 7. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuse is in God. And He is the rock of your strength. God is the only rock. See, my dear brethren, how beautiful these verses are. Wonderful verses. Whenever we are in trouble, please remember these verses because He is our strength. He is our rock. So, please memorize these verses. And please read some verses in Deuteronomy chapter 32. Please turn your Bible with me. So, I am showing references. Uh, I'll explain less and I will show more references because references will talk with you. <laughs> my dear brethren, please try to understand my language. And Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 15 Verse 18, verse 30 and 31. Please read these verses because these verses is very very important. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 15. Now I am reading. But Jeshuram wax fat and kicked. Thou art wax and fat, thou art grow and thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook God which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. Again here mention and verse 18. Of the rock that begot thee, thou art unmindful and hast forgotten God that formed thee. And verse 30 and verse 31. How should one Chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to fight or flight, except a rock had solved them, and the Lord had shut them up. See, my dear brethren, and as well as please read verse 31. 
for their rock is not as our rock even our enemies themselves begin judges see my dear brethren absolutely the rock is our god so here the lord god jehova is the rock the moses said the rock was a picture of god uh, in exodus 17 verse 6 Exodus chapter 17 verse 6 Please turn your bible with me Exodus chapter 17 verse 6 Behold I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb and thou shalt smite the rock and there shall come water out of it that the people may drink and Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel the rock here is said to be a type of Jesus verse 6 is a picture of the crucifixion where you smite the rock my dear brethren the rock once smitten cannot be smitten again that means christ should be smitten once upon the cross uh he died for our sins once but moses when he breaks this typology instead of speak to rock he smitten again as he does god knocks him out of the promised land my dear brethren you may read that in numbers chapter 20 numbers chapter 20 verse 20 so the rock here is the lord jesus christ so please don't confuse and uh, the apostle paul confirmed that thing first corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 please uh, read this verse my dear brethren first corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 and it all drink the same spiritual drink for they drunk of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was christ so my dear brethren they hear the rock a uh, back there in exodus chapter uh, exodus is a type of christ my dear brethren and though they drunk literal water out of literal rock that literal water literal rock was a type of the spiritual rock and spiritual water that rock was christ paul himself confessed that rock was jesus christ compare this scripture deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4 and exodus chapter 17 verse 6 my dear brethren so our god the father title is rock savior and rock and as well as our lord jesus christ title also same the rock and please uh, look at second samuel chapter 23 verse 3 second samuel chapter 23 verse 3 so david's last verse uh, last words my dear brothers and sisters please turn your bible with me second samuel chapter 23 verse 3 the god of israel said the rock of israel speak to me he that ruleth over men must be just ruling in the fear of god the reference is directly to god's coming anointed one uh, that is the lord jesus christ my dear brethren and we read psalm number 62 verse 6 and 7 
the rock here is the rock of deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4 in the new testament the rock is identified identified as the lord jesus christ now turn your bible into the new testament matthew chapter 16 verse 18 matthew the gospel of matthew verse 16 verse 8 so this verse is also many so called preachers and especially roman catholic they uh, they are understanding mistake my dear brothers please turn your bible with me matthew chapter the gospel of matthew chapter 16 words 18 And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So this verse is very, very uh, important to Roman Catholic people, because they think that rock is Peter. No, my dear brethren, they think that rock was Simon Peter. But they absolutely wrong understanding and their interpretation is wrong, my dear brethren. Here the word Peter in Greek, let's examine some uh, uh, interesting facts here. Peter, here the word Peter in Greek, Petros. Petros. The word rock in Greek, the word rock in Greek, Petra. Petra. The words are not same, my dear brethren. Jesus himself said that he himself was the rock here. So again please read these words. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. Upon this rock. Uh, please you should think about the word this. P-H-I-S. This. This is refers to whom this is refers to petros or refers to petra we will see in the bible please turn your bible with me john chapter gospel of john chapter 2 verse 19 20 john chapter 2 verse 19 20. Uh, I'll wipe this thing here, these references, because this is a very, very important word. Please try to understand, my dear brethren. So, in Matthew chapter 6, oh, sorry, 16, verse 8, 8 or 18, sorry, 18, verse 18, they're mentioned upon this rock. P H I S. This refers to whom? This refers to Petros or Peter or this refers to Petra or Rock. Let's see. Please turn your Bible with me. John chapter 2, verse 19. When we compare with scripture with scripture, then only we will uh, come to the truth, my dear brethren. Without comparing scripture to scriptures, uh, we are unable to understand what the Bible says. Please compare the scripture with scriptures. Uh, John chapter 2, verse 19 and 20. 
Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will rise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rise, uh, rear it up in three days? See my dear brethren, here Jesus, verse 19, very very important. Jesus answered and said unto them, destroy this temple. Again here, this. So here, our Lord Jesus Christ talking physical stones there, or physical temple. No. This is referred to Petra. Means rock. Means who is the rock? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. How we recognize this refers to Jesus Christ? Again, please read verse 21. Please read verse 21, same chapter. But he speak of the tem temple of his body. See that? His body is not said this. Means he said about his body. Here also same like that only. Here also upon this rock. For example, Peter stands uh, in, in those days uh, in front of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peter stand, uh, is in, in front of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus said maybe like this. Peter, Peter, upon this rock I will build my church. Did you got my point, my dear brethren? Peter, upon this rock I will build my church. Means here, talking about our Lord Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 16 verse 18, John chapter 2 verse 19 through 21 refers to our Lord Jesus Christ. Be careful about false doctrines. Jesus undoubtedly is pointing to himself when he says upon this rock, my dear brethren. Here we need to notice the word this. So we notice the thing. Uh, now, do you understand the word this here? Yes, you understood very well, my dear brethren. In the both the verses, Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 and John chapter 2 verse 19, 20, 21 verses, this is refer reference, uh, referring to our Lord Jesus Christ. Because He is that rock. His body here refers to rock, my dear brethren. So, Jesus had same title as God the Father. Moreover, Simon Peter confessed that the rock was Christ in 1 Peter chapter 2. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 4 and 8. Verse 4, verse 8. Please turn your Bible with me. To whom coming as unto a living stone, see there, dissolved indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious, and words uh, age, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. My dear brethren, so Peter uh, confessed that the rock was our Lord Jesus Christ. But this foolish Roman Catholic, they believe that this is Petros, means Peter. This refers here, this two, uh, here this refers, the Roman Catholic think, Petros to Peter. No, that's not correct. Jesus himself said, that he himself was the 
rock my dear brethren please turn your bible matthew chapter 21 verse uh, 42 44 matthew chapter 21 verse 42 44 please turn your bible with me matthew chapter 21 verse 42 Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And 44 words, 44. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on whosoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder, my dear brethren. So, our Lord Jesus Christ himself said that he himself was the rock. So, this is the uh, smiting stone of uh, Daniel chapter 2. And it is the living rock. And stone of Zechariah. Chapter 3 verse 9. Please turn your Bible with me. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 9. Because verses very very important. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 9. The hands of Jerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto you. See my dear brethren. And stone of Zechariah chapter 3 verse 9. This is the rock rejected by the many people today. All over the world my dear brethren. But one day they are going to. Uh, they are going to get punishment. That is a very sad thing my dear brethren. And Matthew chapter 21 verse 24. Uh, 44 sorry we read. Uh, Christ is the stone here. Not Simon Peter again. All his first advent is the stumbling stone to everyone who rejects him. And his second advent is the smiting stone that come to crash under his feet. My dear brethren. Did you understand what I said? So our Lord Jesus Christ had same titles as God the Father. Okay, again I am wiping out this all thing because I need more board uh, to write some scriptures or some verses on the board. And Psalm number 78 words 17. Psalm number 78. Psalm number 78, verse 17. And Isaiah chapter 40, 25. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 25. And Psalm number 89, 18. Please read these verses. And they sin yet more against him by provoking the most high in the wilderness. And please read Isaiah chapter 40 verse 25. 40 verse 25. To whom, to whom then will ye liken me or shall I be equal? Say the Holy One. And if you read also 
psalm number 79 verse 18 so our god our god the father has one title holy one okay so uh, there are many references in the bible god the father is holy one so i am not going to show all that verses from the bible my dear brethren you understood so god the father holy one now we will see in the new testament luke chapter 4 verse 43 luke chapter 4 verse 43 4 chapter 4 verse 34 sorry saying let us alone what have we to do with the thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us i know thee who thou art the holy one of god see there and please see words 41 41 and devils also came out of many crying out and saying thou art christ the son of god and he rebuking them suffering them not to speak for they knew that he was christ so my dear brethren the devil uh, here the demons have more sense than many great scholars scientists are mohammed and those who are not believe he is the holy one holy god when i read this verse i laughed very much my dear brethren because the demons the devils have good sense <laughs> okay turn your bible with me acts chapter 2 verse 27 Acts chapter two verse twenty seven. And please read this verse. Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, either wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. This is absolutely about our Lord Jesus Christ. So here. again we see holy one so our lord jesus christ has same title my dear brethren our lord jesus had same titles as god the father i am wiping off this thing this references and i am going to show you one more uh, title and i will close about jesus had some titles as god the father so this is the first second and third and fourth one please turn your bible with me isaiah chapter 48 17 what 17 isaiah chapter 48 what 17 and 60 same chapter 60 and what 16 so uh on this verses also we studied very well before previous classes and once again please read this references and then i will close uh, 48 isaiah chapter 48 verse 17 thus say the lord thy redeemer the holy one of israel i am the lord thy god which teacheth thee to profit which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go so my dear brethren here one title of our god the father is redeemer okay so in the old testament there are many verses about our god is redeemer and please turn your bible isaiah chapter 44 isaiah chapter 
verse 6 and 1st Peter chapter 1 verse 1 44 verse 6 Thus say the Lord the King of Israel and his Redeemer the Lord of hosts I am the first and I am the last and beside me there is no God so exactly our Lord Jesus Christ also said in Revelation chapter 1 all I am Alpha and Omega so please turn your Bible with me first Peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 18 and 19 first Peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Wonderful words, my dear brethren. So, our Lord Jesus Christ is Redeemer. Jesus had same title as God the Father. So my dear brethren, please don't confuse about scriptures and please know about our Lord Jesus Christ. So one song is there. So my dear brethren, what I am trying to say is, please know more about Jesus because He is our Lord and God and our Redeemer. So one song is there, brethren, why I am uh, teaching all this, especially about the Lord Jesus, uh, because many are misunderstanding our Lord Jesus Christ. Many are saying He is not God, but Bible clearly says He is the God alone, my dear brethren. So I will sing one song. Uh, I am not a singer, I am not a good singer, uh, it's uh, hard to me, but I will sing one song, my dear brethren. More about Jesus would I know, more of His grace to others show, more of His saving fullness see, more of His love who died for me. More, more about Jesus, more, more about Jesus, more of His saving fullness, more of His love who died for me. More about Jesus, let me learn, more of His holy will. Son, Spirit of God, my teachers be, showing the things of Christ to me. More, more about Jesus, more, more about Jesus, more of His saving fullness, more of His love who died for me. Thank you, my dear brother, and, and please, um, please read your Bible, and you you will definitely uh, will know about our Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you, thank you so much.